The indications coming out from America are that it is more transmissible and this is why we're encouraging people to keep testing for the virus. If you test positive, please don't go and visit a loved one or come and visit the hospital. And even if you test negative, there are other winter viruses around. So just be mindful about coming into contact with vulnerable people. And in terms of the vaccine, is it believed that the, the vaccine is, is effective against the Kraken variant? We think it's not quite as effective as the other variants, but you will still get some kind of immunity from the vaccine. So we are still offering the vaccine. People can attend and walk in. You don't have to pre-book the primary care centre between one o'clock and four o'clock every afternoon. And uh, what are the status of Gibraltar's vaccine supplies and who's eligible to, for a vaccine at the moment? So we've still got good supplies uh, of the vaccine. We're primarily offering it to those who are over 50 or have a long-term health condition, or indeed if you have significant contact with somebody who has a long-term health condition, please do take up the offer of a vaccine. Obviously there's a concern that uh, about the Kraken variant being transmissible, about another surge in cases potentially. Uh, is there a chance uh, any restrictions could be reviewed, for example, mask mandates? So not at this time. You'll be aware we stepped up and increased the requirement for mask wearing in the uh, hospital sites just before Christmas. That was as a result of us having more COVID and more flu circulating. So we're keeping that in place at this time. What we need to see is what happens to the case numbers and then we'll be looking to step that back once the case numbers reduce again. And uh, with this latest uh, variant as well, people uh, may be wary just uh, on a sort of personal and emotional level uh, of a return to COVID, of a return to the, the earlier days of the pandemic. How uh, concerned should people at large be about the Kraken variant and what it means for the pandemic? So I'm not that concerned at this time because the indications are it's not resulting in severe disease. And I'd like the population to just keep doing what we're doing, keep mindful, keep testing, please keep acting responsibly. And this is not unexpected that we're going to see peaks of infection continue through 2023.